Okay, and I turned off the, all the mods too, um, just to be safe. Um, actually, what is it? The, um, actually, I think. Can you guys even come out? Oh, they're all working. Hmm. The the using two healed um, mod actually wasn't working. It was grayed out. But anyway, we're still going to turn them off just to help things not work better. I know, it's bugs. Who've ever heard of bugs at Pathfinder? Anyway, so again, we're not going to run any mods. And we're going to start a new game. You can see over on the left, the Treasure of Midnight Isles DLC is out now. Blah, blah, blah. So, new game. Uh, we want to do Treasure of the Midnight Isles. So, the island scattered across the dark, abyssal ocean. High treasures untold and the horrors unspeakable. You can explore them, explore them along with the Night Commander or... Create a new team of heroes and send them on a quest in a standalone roguelike uh, rogue light mode. Not roguelike, road roguelite. T, okay. And if the treasure of the Bindine Isles doesn't fall into your hands on the first try, don't give up. Uh, accomplishments of the parish crew can uh, help those with who come after them. No idea what that means exactly. And I don't know about this line. Explore them along with the Knight Commander. Um, I'm guessing you might be able to do the Midnight Isle stuff in a campaign, but I don't know how. <laughs> and there's a reason for, you'll see this in a second. But I don't know how that's actually going to work. If it is possible to do it in a campaign. Because in Kingmaker, you were actually able to... The, the Endless Dungeon Beneath Stolen Lands was built into the campaign as a si total side quest. You didn't have to do it at all related to the main storyline, but you could still do it. It was just uh, mechanically a little different, but it was the gen same general idea. And then there was a standalone version, which of course is this is what we're doing here today. So I don't know how it's going to, if it's even possible to do it in campaign. Yeah, again, and it'd be interesting to see how it works. They put restrictions on it in the campaign. Yeah, again, I'll have to see. Because I'm actually, because this actually takes place in the Abyss. And. If you're in currently with my current campaign, we are past the abyss as far as Illusionera portion of the storyline. And I don't know if we have, I don't think, do we have a way even to get back? I think we do, maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, can't remember. But um, I don't even know how to get back to the abyss from uh, campaign from where we are now. Cut down dungeon in the campaign. Well, here the thing is, it's not just one dungeon. You'll see. Anyway, critical hits, that's done. Remove negative effects on rest, yes please. Remove control and effects after combat, sure. Companions that do not auto level up. Everybody's normal strength, damage is normal. This is all the really important, that's all the important stuff. So we're all set there. Okay, so, and from, there's, from what I found out in testing is you can actually have characters added to your party before you go into the first dungeon. Um, but I don't know how much they cost. I only, I only hired one and I wasn't, I didn't pay attention to the money involved. So I don't know how many, we'll take a look. I know where the, you know, we'll go take a look and see if there's any cost involved with adding characters. But, um, I think from what I can tell the, the first couple of the first couple of the first island for sure you can do with one character depending it shouldn't be an issue because i've done two runs to the first island now one with the uh, um one alone and then one with a companion or a second second character and there didn't seem to be any real difference in the amount of enemies there so i don't know if it scales based on how many people are in the party or not but from what i could tell it didn't but that doesn't mean it that won't so so what I think I want to do is start off with creating my own character and then when you finish a actual level at the end of the level you actually have an option to add a character to your party. So I think that's what we're going to do. As I do the levels we'll add people into the party. So just to see how it goes. Just to be a little different. And anyway this is the first time through anyway so we're still learning it to see what we can do. So having said that We'll worry about uh, getting volunteers and stuff about who wants to die first type deal. So anyway, 
We can run through with some pre-built characters, but we don't. We want to build our own. The question is, is what? Uh, custom, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? I was thinking I probably, I wanted, I haven't done a dex, dex built character for a main character in a long time. Actually, maybe ever. Question is what, what I want to do. I want to put this down here. Or is that, oh, that's the same character, different portrait, isn't it? Or is it, it is, funny. Um, I think I want to take another look at the damn fear too. Question is, is which ones are the damn fear portraits? I don't think it really matters to them, does it? An elf? Could do an elf. But I was actually kind of wanted to do a damn fear. Just to be a little, you know, not an elf. <laughs> That's not. And I don't even know what class either. That's the funny part. I don't even know what class to run as a dex build. No, I'm not doing Alchemist. Just to, you know. That's a pretty good generic. Of course I do me. But yeah, we do dex build. Question, do I want to do do wield? Don't have to, right? Did start Wrath of the Righteous as a damn fear, didn't Yeah, but it was a damn fear, but it was an oracle. It wasn't a, it wasn't a spell, ga or was a spell caster, not a, a melee. The forbidden E word? I mean elf? Elf? I think you, I think you meant to hear, I think you heard elf, Gatker, but I'm not sure. Elf is a very difficult word to understand, because, you know, it's a, it's elf. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this portrait for now. Not alchemist. Blood, and Blood Razor really isn't, I'm not sure what they are supposed to be. Fighter, Hunter, Slayer, Rogue, Ranger, Dual Scimitars. The only way to really do, do Dual Scimitars is with a Fighter, though. Elf, the ones that are better than Dwarves, yes. Which Wizard, Slayer. Um... Master of all. Some half elves spend all their time gaining new knowledge and skills, becoming the masters of all. That specifically says half elf. Mm -hmm. Do monk, pretty straightforward dex characters. Yeah. You do a monk. A damn fear monk. Quarter staff masters. So, and then again, something I haven't done either. Student of Stone. Oh, can't do that one. That's an Oriad. Scale Fist, Quarter Staff Master. So, some monks use their efforts in perfecting the ways of the simplest weapons, a quarter staff. So what would you... So no flurry of blows. But flurry of blows. <laughs> um, so... Keep cool fast movement. So why wouldn't you need this? Oh, because it's unarmed attacks. Quarter staff damage. Hands a quarter staff master, all quarter staffs deal damage if it was one size category larger. Trip style strike. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. 
Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Tuesday. So, asunder for free. Of course, Staff Master Rook while he's on strength, it does. Oh, I guess it would because it's not a deck, it's not a finesse weapon, right? That's what Ring said. That's so that doesn't work. Um, could do a traditional monk. But that's fist. Uh, I guess you can do. Uh, May are uh, monk weapons, right? Yeah, I, I I saw you say finesse, and I went okay, and then it, at Katger, what Katger said is that when it kicked in, it's like quarter staffs aren't finesse weapons. <laughs> but are monk weapons? Yeah, monk weapons are finesse, correct? Are monk weapons finesse weapons, I guess. It's class skills, blah, 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 perception stuff. Where does it show? Oh, details. Monk proficiency. So, light or heavy dagger. Oh, so that's crossbow. So, daggers finesse. Common and Chucks, Water Staff, Short Sword. Okay, so he's got the options there for finesse weapons. The Sigh. Is there a Sigh? There's no Sigh in this game. Well, that's listed, but I, have we ever seen a Sigh? I don't think I've ever seen a Sigh in this game. Eh, we'll see. Anyway, we'll go Traditional Monk. And the damn fear. And mail. Short swords and daggers work too. Cute little kitten again though. Cute little kitten again for the bingo. Uh, starting to vote. If you're playing the boss fight bingo, go to your bingo card, click a number. I'm running sign. Did I? I don't remember that. I'm not saying it didn't happen, I just don't remember it. Okay, so bonus of dexterity and charisma, Pun penalty to constitution, there's bonus on persuasion, and perception. This one is bonus of strength and intelligence, strength and charisma, strength and wisdom, strength and intelligence, dexterity and intelligence. So there's no dexterity and wisdom. But that's okay, there's no penalty to wisdom here. So this will be fine. Regular damn fear. Uh, what are we going to start as? Oh, I think I wanted to do uh, somebody gives us trickery, like an acrobat. Mobility. We're going to get that as a monk anyway, aren't we? Trickery and persuasion. Trickery and stealth of the pickpocket. I think we'll go that way. Not proficient or unproficient, select the background for a class during scan, corruption, blah blah blah. Okay, we go pickpocket. The pip the pickpocket traditional monk. Sounds like a good story. Okay, so he does want wisdom. Dexterity, can I max that out? Strength is good, constitution. Meh. What does he get for wisdom, I guess, is the question. Put this up to 10, so no penalty. He doesn't need charisma, right? Doesn't, yeah, he doesn't need charisma. There we go. So I get a little bit of a bonuses to wisdom stuff. Hitbunk is often used in builds for its plus two to, for initiative. Oh, I didn't even think, I didn't even look at the initiative. It gets better AC, so I went the right route though. You pickpocketing by cutting them in small pieces. It's only if we carry a gun or a knife. 
Okay, so we're going to want mobility, we're going to want trickery, we're going to want stealth. And that's not real helpful, is it? Well, mobility we're only going to pick up for three levels. I don't think we need more than that. We need more skill points. I guess we're going to leave it with this for now. Okay, so weapon finesse. The light weapon even though it's a rapier for either creature or sonic or use dexterity modifier instead of your strength. Do we need that? I think we do. Fine. Game use guns so we can have pistols and shield builds. <laughs> yes, we do. Month bonus feats. Um, dodge crane. Attack rolls uh, while using the style and fighting defensively, you gain an additional plus one dodge bonus to your armor class. Let me just pick up dodge. Or, I don't know, we're going to want crane repost. And... Actually, does that work? Yeah, that works for weapons, right? Yeah, it should work. Anyway, go crane style. Oh, with deity, we don't care, because it doesn't matter. Um, dun, dun, dun. On Cathon. The Midnight Lord. Prince of Pain. Gotta be lawful neutral. Lawful neutral works for me, because we're a monk. And now appearances. It's not pale enough. Face. You don't care when I can be looking at the face. Eye color again. Red eyes are good though. Kinda. Hairstyle. Mostly shaved head. He's a monk, so. The white hair. War paint. I don't care about war paint stuff. Tattoos, color, clothes. Um, there, all white. Because can't be any whiter than, you know, undead guy. Their life ends here. Okay. Um. Eh, I can find better. Beautiful. And off we go. We'll win this. One way first come, first served. Damn, son! So it comes to this! I'll go ahead. I am superior! A solid plan. A mere flesh wound. I'm always right. Are you still here? Optimus it is. Okay, Gimpy, the monk. I can find better. See? He can find better. Okay, there we go. So, traditional monk stuff. Ugh. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> now, because he's a monk, they didn't actually give him any weapons, right? So yes, we start off in Aleutian era, aren't we lucky? Crane style, put you over there. What's this? Stunning fist. No chance of really using that, I think. Okay, and he starts off with Potion of Inflict Wounds. Oh, that's right. He is a damn fear. So, double check. 
Um, so actual abilities and stuff. So negative energy affinity. Though a living creature react to positive negative energy as if it were undead. Positive energy heals them, negative energy heals them. Or sorry, positive he hurts them, negative heals them. So that's why we got the potions. Can resist level during undead resistance. So plus two bonus on saving throws against disease and mind affecting effects. And damn fear, he's got the racial bonus to dexterity and charisma, penalty to constitution, and bonus to persuasion and perception. So he's a karate guy, or maybe he prefers Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, he is more, I don't know. Actually, he's going to prefer smacking people with that with the weapons. So that's going to be the goal here when you pick up some weapons for him. And stuff. Okay, so we're good. So again, once again, we're in Lucianera. And it doesn't react like Lucianera does in the campaign, which is fine. We've got those goofballs up here. Can't talk to them now. Beautiful. Link. So we're going back here because, if I remember right, now we got Lore Religion 41 DC. I have no idea what the purpose of that is, so we're not worried about that. Ah, uh, the Angler. Oh, the Abyssal Anger, that's, or Anchor, that's where you go to save stuff. And on no shifting buildings. Okay, the angler, the man's face, looks like it was chewed on for a long time before being swallowed and partially digested. One of his eyes is covered with black with the black bandage. The other is spinning wildly in its socket, <laughs> only briefly stopping to look at you. His maimed hands, a few fingers short, are clutching a pipe filled with strong, foul-smelling uh, tobacco. Eh? Hey, have to see, are you? Looking to find some cronies? I'm your man, I... Uh, Angler knows every crook, cutthroat, and daredevil in the city, and that's uh, and what they're worth and what they'll cost you. Heading off, heading off a hunting treasure. Okay, you already said that. I'm putting a crew together. I need skilled fighters. I need help with from a competent instructor. Who are you? Would you get to a bad life? That's okay. Exactly, rank. Yeah, exactly. Let me get in a crew. Looking for a right company. One has already paid me, uh, paid me to find him a crew, so I won't charge it for them none. So we could add a second person now. I think we'll come back and talk to him in a second, and after we do the first dungeon. So we know he's here, and that's where we go. And these uh, abyssal anchors. This is where you go to save the game, because quick save doesn't work. I'll worry about that later. Then we go back this way. This goes takes us down to the ship. See what I don't like is you can't click everywhere. It doesn't register every click for some reason. Okay, and then the chaplain here, he is the merchant. He can sell you all kinds of stuff. Regular equipment, potions, magic equipment, unique equipment, or need to have a cleric. Unique equipment being fluffy boots, <laughs> a shiny dagger, cold iron dagger, skin leather cloak. So again, you can see how expensive this stuff is. I only have fifteen hundred, so I don't think I'm gonna be buying anything out of this guy. Oh, and they also gave us a quiver of cold iron ammunition, three whole shots. Oh, sorry, there's three, it's three quivers of fifty shots each. But we're not doing that. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. Oops. So, again, regular stuff, potion, magic equipment. What kind of regular stuff? All kinds of regular stuff. Masterwork stuff, whatever. So let's do the name. What am I going to want for weapon wise? Boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. Okay, so the comma is a finesse weapon. Let's get that one. 
called iron, or the nunchuck, nunchuck, and nunchucks are finesse as well, 1d6. There's the psi, 1d4. Short sword, short spear, 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 dagger. So, nunchucks, psi. Question, I guess the question is, how was the chance of finding more psi? You can't even buy two, though. Now, of course, well, I could sell the arrows, but they're not worth that much. Shield of Faith, Mage Armor. That's only going to last ten minutes. Right? It's ten minutes per, per his level. Remember right? Can't use these. At least not for him. Eh, we'll do Psy. Oh, so you can't take We sell that, that's only worth 12. I'm gonna go with 24. And you're down to the money. The other thing is, do you have access to mythic stuff in this mode? I don't know. There's a hint, but we'll, you'll see that in a little bit. There's a hint that mythic powers might be involved. a little bit better on the hitting there. One to four. Oh, I should want the comma. Yeah, we'll go sign. Sign is fine. Anyway, Sparkly Vampire killed everybody. Sparkly Vampire is number 14 on your bingo card. Number 14. Oh, I forgot to show it on the dog cam. Anyway, there they are. Is that Mickey sleeping on his back again? Yep. Okay. Yes, you're looking at Mickey's crotch, basically. Just so you know. Okay, so that's the guy we... That's a merchant. All kinds of fun stuff in there. Will it update as we go along? I have no idea. The boat's over here that we're supposed to be going to. thought it was over here. Where's the boat? Oh, the helm's going to be so Step closer, treasure. Young, strong, and brave. Just who I need. Tell me, how would you like to get your hands on incredible riches? Sure, who are you? Call me the helmsman. What kind of riches are you talking about? Oh, the greatest treasure in the Midnight Isles. I know the way. I have a ship. But I am too old and frail to claim the treasure on my own. You wouldn't happen to know a silver dragon, would you? Deal. Deal. Driver, fingers clasped her hand. You feel a stab of pain. The handshake must have left a splinter in your palm. Intent. And there's the ship. Welcome aboard. Look, it's a movie. No, he's not a dog at all. No, he's not. Totally truthful? Yeah, I think so too. Everyone who has that kind of a voice is always truthful. Okay, so there's our boat. So there it is. So now we get to walk around on that. And the boat itself. Um, let's see, back to the dock. So not a lot on here for the most part, I don't think. It's mostly empty. 
Oh, we can rest over here. Campfire. We don't need to rest. AC anyway. Uh oh. Mickey's leg is moving. Okay, so we have a chest. It's empty. Uh, another chest. A toothy chest. I don't know what this is for. Should be a ship. What did I call it? A boat? Boat, ship, same difference. They both float. Okay, who are you? Call me the helmsman. What exactly are you? Tell me about yourself. I am the one who knows the way to the treasure, the one with the ship. I have no more to say. What is our sort of treasure we're looking for? Do you know what the Midnight Isles are made of? Corpses. A collection of dead demon lords slain by the queen of the succubus. She, he breaks into a dry coughing fit. The first and greatest among them was Nahindri. Uh, he was a rich beyond. He was rich beyond imagining. His treasure still lies scattered across the archipelago's islands, and each one points the way to another of greater value, like links in a chain that will guide us to the Hendry's most prized uh, jewel. It is mine, mine. You hear, mine. The sudden flash of emotion causes the helmsman to start coughing again. Hey, Taco, welcome back. I'm doing fine. How are you? Is it hot? Just a little bit. Hey, Ray, welcome back. It's only in the 90s, so I don't know if that's considered hot or not. I don't need the rest. Gold, gems, enchanted items, anything you find will be yours. Just keep collecting the links of the chain for me. Help me claim the dead demon lord's treasure. Taking my spoils and leaving. A little early for that. I have to go. Okay, so we've talked to him. Now we get to choose a destination. So these are the islands we're supposed to be visiting. The skulls represent the peril rating. The more skulls, the more danger. And Island of Loneliness. A lonely mercenary who has lost all hope for rescue. Okay, not that one, though. Why they start you off with that, too, I don't know. But we'll go... Oh, there's no way of going back. Ah, look at that. I didn't notice that before. You can only move forward through the chains. So if you don't go this one first, you don't get to any of these. Oh, and the little person. Did I, you and your entire party will have a random positive effect until the end of the expedition. There's a chance you and your entire party will permanently gain plus one bonus to randomly to a random ability score. Okay. This is going to be experience, I guess. You'll get additional experience points for conquering it. A lonely mercenary who has uh, lost all hope for rescue will meet you on this island. He will be happy to join your expeditions. You want to look for that kind of stuff, I guess. There's another one up there. So basically, when we finish this item, we'll have somebody at join a party. Okay, so that's where we're going first. Big DLC, 20 gigs, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I'll try stealth is over here. So Gimpy's got, he didn't even look at his skills and stuff. So he's got trickery, stealth, perception's kind of E, um, and mobility. So, but anyway, these are class skills, so a little bit better. Got a pickpocket bonus there. Dexterity is given a bonus. Class as well. So, you be the sneaky monk. Kabold. Now we got blessings in here too, based on skills. I'll get it next time. Nah, not this time though. Nice miss. Good backstab. Is he dead? Damn you! That ended combat. You still here? Good guys always win. It's not working. <laughs> Damn 
you. It's not working. I'm cooking, it's not here. working. That's all. Good this is, this is a problem I had man. before. Yes, that's Mickey upside down. That's his foot. That's his uh, left leg, actually. There he goes. There's his right foot. There's his other two feet. I got so, this. this is a problem I ran into before. Damn you. Can't even move. I left click, there's no movement. Right clicking gets me into five foot. It's movement, but buggy. Are you still here? And up as a lawful pickwalking ranger and mask assassin vibe. I don't know. Good guys always win. Okay, so I have to go in real time mode. <laughs> Dead cabold. So this is the. Ah, this is so stupid. So this is the problem I had before when I was testing stuff is go into turn-based combat and left clicking doesn't attack for you, it doesn't cast spells or anything. I mean he doesn't have any spells, but sneaky. You can be a be a punk or pickpocket and be lawful, uh who rules. Lawful doesn't mean you follow the law. It means you just have us you believe that there's an order to life. Be patched in a week or two, don't tell me that. I got this. Damn you! We're gonna rest after this fight. I mean that works. Oh, I gotta move this up too. And now it says combat is done. You still here? That that noise that sound effect means combat's you done. It's not. Win. Get him, Gimpy. That stuff. Did I hit the other guy? I don't remember. Oh, look, another sigh. So, he doesn't do... Can he do well? That's a hefty penalty, isn't it? Yeah, it's not really worth doing. Little centipede just Give lying the there. Wait. Came in through this room, didn't I? So, so far I've noticed the. Um, I don't have, it's too soon to make any compare, real comparisons to the uh, Beneath the Stone Lands. It's too early yet. Beautiful. Now, here's something interesting, though. Look. He's killed how many things yet? No experience. I don't know if that's a bug or what. I don't know how experience works in this stuff. It may be assigned at the end of the dungeon, but I'm not sure. Let's see what we can do. I got this. First come, first serve. Maybe we don't have a sneak attack, huh? You actually hit me, little punk. Here we go. Anything around here? Doesn't look like it. I got another cold over there. Let's see if I can sneak. Sneaky, around. sneaky. Nice mess. See, it says that in the thing. It says Are it's you over. Still here? Hmm. Oh, I don't have all our correct information up, do I? For the screen here. Options. It was game. Auto pause, turn base mode, oh, that's there. It's currently off because we turned it off. Um, not auto pause. 
boss one was a difficulty. Hey, bag of water, stretch your legs. There we go. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Show text HP instead of a bar. That's fine. Show enemy actions, yes. Instead of a bar. What text? Is it on? They will never appear, I'm gonna sort of whatever. They will appear in combat, the available option. Oh, let's see what this goes. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Hmm. It didn't seem to be I don't know, we'll see. Is that a trap? That would be a trap. I can handle it. Got this one. You know what? I don't think these are procedurally generated. I'm pretty sure I've been in this dungeon the previous two runs that I've done. Or at least one of them for sure. This looks really familiar. So I don't think it's the same as the uh, Beneath Stolen Lands. Which is okay, that means it's maybe less prone to be buggy. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Come on. Although it's different creatures though. Because before, when I run through this area, it seemed like it was um, spiders and centipedes. Oh no, he saw me. Getting the squirrel team up killed everyone. Getting squirrel R. Dun, dun, dun. Number six on your bingo card. Number six on your bingo card. Number six. Good guys always win. I got this. You're hitting me now. Nice miss. Wow, get my ass kicked by a kobold. Come on. That's not good. Okay. Drink one of those. So, again, Gimpy is a damn fear, so... What's this? Hardy Encumbrance? Well, that's not good. We're overloaded. It says armor. There we go. So the downside don't gain one person. I don't need to sneak around right now. I don't see anybody else. A chest. What's this? A brewery cultist light shield. Okay. Now we're heavy again. How much is the shield worth? Two. As opposed to... The two those are worth. Kibriri Cultist Light Shield. Six pounds versus 15 pounds on these. So we'll drop another one of these. Should probably drop all of them, but. Oh, we're still heavy. Fine, drop them then. There we go. I'm not gonna get rich on that, so. There's a door over here. That way. 
way. Oh, we'll do an anchor to save. We've been that way. See a door. What am I missing? Ah, oh, there it is. Let's see what we can do. That's what I was missing. Let's see if I can sneak around. Sneaky, sneaky. That side, like it's not a pokey weapon. Ah, more crappy heavy armor. So. everywhere. Here comes trouble. So somehow I missed that trap. My awesome perception. Are you still here? Did he even hit me? That's a problem. are the qu or buff things that we can't activate because our skill is too low. Pick the lock. All right. Ooh, look, a belt lantern. Lock poison stuff. Go and drink it. Jade. It's not too bad. We're encumbered from that. What the hell made us so heavy? Lantern's only a pound. We'll probably the trident. Ah, newest oldest. So the claws. Those are worth they're weightless. Demonic poisons. You can use it to cook something while resting. Root. J. Drink it. So what did we pick up that was so heavy? The bracers? No, that's light. It's the lantern is the only thing that's heavy. Uh, how much is the shield? Two. Ditch it. Oh, we also picked up the Bardiche. All three. We'll be fine. There's a door out. Here we go. Anything over here? No. There. Let's run over here. something. But there's nothing here. I hear noises, but there's nothing in the room itself. is the end. The noises here sound like a th th thunderstorm, yeah. Hello everyone. 
My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes I do and highlights of the stream. What you think it means? Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Tuesday. Come on, Cabal, die. There we go. Now we don't care about how much stuff weighs because as long as we keep moving, we're fine. Okay, so this is the guy, or one of the guys that we get to add to our party. So, the question is who wants to be the first victim? So who are you? Lie, just looks at you. Clearly sees an adventurer. Recruit the soldier into your party, or sailor into your party. If you're looking to get off the island, I might have a spot for you. Ta -da. So, volunteers. We'll do this as we normally do. How uh, is it? Okay, so if you want to uh, be this person, speak up in chat. Otherwise, I have to make up another character. And if you do volunteer, uh, you get to build your character, or you get to pick the class and all that other fun stuff. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, first come, first serve. Anybody want to be a victim? You know you do. You even get to pick your own custom uh, portrait that we have here. Got a bunch of them to choose from. No volunteers? Fine. I'll do it myself. Are those modded in portraits? Yeah, these portraits are modded in. These are the ones that come with it. These are all part of uh, the game itself. But these are the ones that are modded over here. The custom ones. Uh, let's see. What should we build for character number two? Can't do... Yeah. Oh, that's okay, Ham. Don't worry about it. Welcome to the stream. I can build my own party. The question is, what do we want to do? Um, well, let's do what? An elven shaman healer? That works. I just need to find an elf that kind of looks like that. Female, though. You aren't elves. Halfling Cavalier. No, I do not. No, I do not. Could be enough. Dun, 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 where are the elves? You're not an elf. That could technically be in a, a shaman elf. Can't see her ears. Hey, Tarkas, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. 
And Tarkus has started a bingo vote. Go to your bingo card, click on number. The number with the most votes is the number everybody gets. Where are the elves? Not the foxes. The elves. Can I go by the elves already? Looks like I did. Hmm. I guess she is kind of an elf with her pointy ears. Really? I saw you in a different spot too. A shaman with a bow. Hmm. That might work actually. Portrait's very important. I don't know if everybody knows that or not. Shaman. Not really a shaman with those uh, horns come out of your head, I don't think. Maybe. Ah, uh, there's the damn fear stuff. Females, though. Yeah, that's male. Eh, too late. We're good. She could be a shaman. Not her. Oh, we went through these. We just went too fast. Yeah, we'll go with this one. I'll have her be the shaman. Okay, so shaman, shaman, shaman. Which one, though? Possess Shaman. Merely consuming. For Possess Shaman, merely consuming with this. Uh, communing with the spirit world is insufficient. Instead, she invites spirits to share her body, granting them with the chances to experience cor corporeal existence in return. You grant their her skills and protect her from otherworldly influence. A shared skill? Selects two skills. Possessed by the Shaman stuff. Wisdom modifier in place of the ability modifier with skills we normally use. It's in spirit. Oh, that's right, spirit animals. With her special ability, someone must commune with her spirit animal each day to prepare her spells. So, is this the DLC where you get to use get us all killed? It is Tarkus. It is. Still learning the ins and outs though. Crowded Vessel. Possessed Shaman fails a saving throw against the charm or compulsion spell or effects. She can attempt a new saving throw as the spirit inside her attempts to regain control. No hexes, though. I get hex there, though. Wandering Spirit. Can form a temporary bond with the spirit other than the one selected during her spirit class. She must make this selection each day when preparing her spells. While this feature is active, she gains the spirit ability granted by the spirit. She also has the spells granted by the spirit to her list of spells. Mm -hmm. Wandering skills. Now the wandering hex. So she still gets her hexes and stuff. It's not too bad. Shadow Shaman. Oh, you can do... She gets stealth. Does she get sneak attacks? She does. Didn't we do this? Did I do this in the, the with the dragon run? Did I have a shadow shaman, or is that something else? You don't remember. So shadows. What do these do? 
Gains the ability to use the shadows around to conceal himself. A number of times per day equal to Charisma modifier. Shadow Shaman also can gain the benefits of the Blur spell. For oh yeah, we did do this one. It actually worked out. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We'll do the Shadow Shaman again. Uh, but, oh, that's right. It's going to be an elf. Uh, her heritage. Basic elf. Light form. Loses immunities and elven magic, but gains plus two racial bonus on saving throws against necromancy. And spell like abilities and spells and blah blah blah. With the curse descriptor. And plus one bonus on attack rolls against outsiders with the demon subtype. A lore master. Uh, loses elven magic and keen senses, but gains plus two bonus on knowledge arcane. Yeah, basic. Basic elf. What kind of history, though? In Shadow Shaman, she's going to be getting the... Get spirit animal, spirit weapon, and stuff. Stealth. Do another uh, pickpocket. <laughs> so she gets trickery too. Trickery mobility, how about that? Make her an acrobat. Okay, so. She's gonna need wisdom for spells and stuff. 18 should be fine. My charisma or something too, I think. And she's doing sneak attack stuff, so dexterity, right? She doesn't really need the charisma. Like the intelligence for maybe the extra skill point? Still only three. Some mobility. Perception. Religion. Okay, her, she's going to be using... Don't you pick your pockets? Okay, Gray. So use her weapon, or her dexterity modifier too, since she's at 16. She doesn't have strength, so that's fine. So she used light weapons too. Boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. Okay, so the different spirits. Battle spirits. Let's battle spirit. When she calls one one spirit abilities, she grows in stature, becoming taller and more muscular. Grimace of rage stretches across her face. No, way, that's not what she wants. She wants to be more, you know, dexterous stuff. Hungry Spectral Flame dances around her body. Iron Nimbus, Flame Curse, War to Flames, Fireball. <laughs> Life. Oh. My spirit appears more vibrant and more. Moral skin seems to glow, and her teeth are pearly white. When she calls upon one's spirit abilities, her eyes and hair shimmer in the light. So, bonus spells, Unbreakable Heart, Restoration, Lesser, Neutralize Poison. Restoration, Breath of Life, Restoration, stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, all those spells. And she gets the channel. 
Oh, but Gimpy's <laughs> Gimpy is a damn fear. Uh, that's okay. If we do selective channeling, it won't hurt him. That should be a thing, right? Ah, uh, what's your familiar gonna be? Cat. Dog familiar. Dog familiar. Now oh, there's our style checks and perception. Yeah, reflex says the rat. Bumps fortitude. A raven. Persuasion. Perception. Hey Jeff, I'm back. Eh, stealth. Getting a squirrel killed everybody again. So, vote time. Rat? There's no rat on the screen. Anyway, vote for your bingo stuff. Go to your bingo card, click on a number. The number that gets the most votes is the number everybody gets. You see sleepy dogs? Well, of course they're sleepy. They had a rough morning. Oh, what god is our god should she have? We should have a lawful god. Abadar? Let's see. Desna, no. Arastal does lawful neutral. Longbow? She's not gonna be doing bows though. Not that it matters, so I need to go. Uh, longsword. An arm strike. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. Nethys is lawful neutral. Quarterstaff. Norgerberg. Short sword. Who's Norgerberg good for? And from a thievery and assassination, the look up Keeper of Secrets. Saren Ray. Out of the Scimitar. We can do Scimitar stuff. No, Scimitar isn't precision weapon, though. They had dog stuff to do. They did. Have a rough morning. That is the sound they make. Rough, rough. No, they say arf, arf. They're too small to say rough, rough. Eh, we'll go ahead. Saren Ray. Fun. And you're good. Because it matters. Okay, so... Any good? Any endless dungeon stuff? Yes. Well, I don't know if it's going to be endless, but it... Uh, we just finished our first uh, level, basically, and we picked up uh, an extra character to join us. That smile is hideous. Not creepy at all. Dun, dun, dun. Hairstyle. In effect plays. Thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. So what hairstyle should we get? Now that's Ember style, isn't it? Not that one. Not that one. Could go that route. Actually, what was her portrait again? She's got the glowy yellow eyes. She's a blonde, scraggly hair. Okay, in effect, thank you very much for the raid. Have a good evening. So... That hair kind of works. Your color, though, is supposed to be more yellow, I think. That'll work. Eye color. White. Looks a little cross-eyed there. Wow, these faces need to work. Is her eye color actually changing? Oh, uh, it's the it's not the irises, it's the or it's not the pupil, it's the actual thing. Perfect eyes for an archer? Sure. Unfortunately we don't have any yellow uh, eyeballs. Not that we're gonna see that close to her face all the time, but Anyway, close colors. Um, what does she look like? 
kind of white and red, sort of, kind of. That's fine. Three pages of eye color, yes. Well, there isn't enough eye color in all honesty. Well, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's not really three pages. It's just, it's 20 choices total, and it's just a weird select. I mean, why would you want to change the color of the eyeballs and stuff? But anyway. Ah, a test of my abilities. Our path hey, bag on. of water. Stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Look, it's Veronica the Shaman. Hold on. Just a little more. Okay, and channel positive energy, all the fun stuff. She's got a cat for familiar. And she's the, the life shaman. Yeah, you have to be in zoomed in quite a bit. How'd you get Mrs. Gimpy to make a character and time it? You should have get Mrs. Gimpy to make a character and time it? Oh, we don't want to have Mrs. Gimpy make characters. That would be not good, I don't think. It'll take a while. I will see this through. Okay, so we're going to do charges and stuff. Heals over here. Things are familiar. What's this? Burning hands and entangle. She come with a weapon. She's got a cold heavy, a cold iron heavy mace. She needs. Feats did we get her? Yeah, she's got weapon finesse. We don't want her using that mace. Not the character background stuff. Just the portrait look and stuff. Oh, that would take a while. That would take a long while. Studded leather, armor splash three, that's two, dex bonus of six, this is dex bonus of five, so that's good for her. Look, it's a dart. She doesn't know how to use a sigh. Spear is not a finesse weapon. So we're gonna have to buy her a finesse weapon that she can actually use. Probably gonna be a short sword or something stupid. Oh, it's a lantern. She knows how to use the club. Okay. Uh, spell books. So, flame. Oh, she doesn't have the spirit mage slot. Our spirit magic slots. How does that work? Uh, it's got to be that one, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's got to be Unbreakable Heart, because that's what her spirit gives her. Burning Hands. Can she just use this stuff to heal at any time she Let wants? Us not hesitate. She's not a cleric that way, so she actually does have to me memorize her healing spells, so we don't care about those. So one for her and one for Gimpy. <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck. Anyway. So first level. Done. I can handle it. I'm collect all that stuff to go sell it. Who's in the party? Currently it's Gimpy the Traditional Monk and Veronica the Shadow Shaman. And now we want to go back. There's this little treasure called Special Power Within. Oh, here we go. We are on a quest to find the greatest of all the prizes in the Midnight Isles. It takes a special kind of strength to accomplish a feat like that. This is my gift to you, treasure. Or that's what he's calling me, his treasure. For as long as you travel on the ship, you will have uh, 
the kind of power that mere mortals can only dream of. And this power will grow and grow. Just keep looking for treasure. Let's go back to Lucianera. Go back. Sure, we can go back. But after we do, don't show your face in my deck ever again. I have no use for cowards and quitters. <sighs> I'll try to take down this island after all. I have to go. So we can't go backwards? We can't go backwards. And there's no one to sell stuff to here. I just noticed that. I realized that. So the only... So how does that work? Then we have to make it through everything before we can go back and sell stuff. Boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. So she says. So yeah, there's no there's nowhere to sell stuff here. So that means we have to card everything around, or how does that work? That seems. How does that work? Oh, that's right, there's corruption here too, because, you know, Abyss. Corruption was weakened. So, huh? So I guess we just throw everything into the chest until we're ready to sell it, I guess? So this is different than I... This is not quite what I expected. We should have picked up that extra person before we left Elysian Era. Had I known we would be able to go back. Hey, Bata, welcome back. Silver bell. Mutated fish. You can use the cook something while resting. We'll hold on to that. Moonstone. Put that on there. Quartz, same deal. Brew potions or scribe scrolls. Doesn't weigh anything, so we'll carry it. Elemental essence. Cursed plant. Amethyst ring. So throw that in there. Throw that in there. Again, this is stuff that we don't really want to carry around with us. We have nowhere to sell this. They didn't give. They didn't put a uh, merchant on the ship. Hmm. Oh, that was used to do scrolls and stuff. Not that we're doing any that I think of. Pixie dust, clasp, artificial flower, an extra sigh. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, squirrel. Squirrel killed everybody, right? Squirrel's number 19 on your bingo card. Number 19. Okay, so that's a little bit better for weight. I'm not sure what this toothy chest is good for. And this reader started a stream or a bingo vote, so go to your bingo card, click on a number, and hopefully you get it, the number you need. Okay, so what's right next? Uh, this one, Arcane Tide. Having braved the island, you and your entire party will gain a random positive effect until the end of the expedition. Or experience bonus. Let's do experience bonus. Because what's over here? Just or this island allows you to clear the effect of abyssal corruption while resting. Okay. Fine. 
So it looks like we're going this way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. Uh, so you can somewhat choose destination. Yeah, it's a it's a map, and but you can't go backwards. So it's a you know it's one direction only type deal. Escaping from sight. And this is a stealth group sort of kind of. Oh, and Dispirator got bingo. Congratulations. We'll keep going until a couple more people get bingo as well. See, not being able to access the bingo or the merchants kind of sucks. Does the boss bingo number how tough they are or just the order they were made? Um, it's kind of how tough they are. It's kind of. But it's also well, yeah. It's see the way that the way the bosses work is it it's based on how many people enter the boss fight. So the weaker bosses are lesser or less amount of people. The bigger bosses are when more people join. That's how that works. So if you need a higher number, you need to convince more people to join the boss fights, or you initiate a vote and hopefully everybody votes the way you want them to. Or if you need a lesser number, if you see a boss fight start, don't enter it. <laughs> because the fewer people will get the lower number, the fewer people have a better chance of a lower number. See, so there's a little bit of strategy in there. Beautiful. Beautiful, but where the hell are we going? Yeah, looks like we're going this way. Let's see if I can sneak around. So this is an issue I have. The when I click, they're not going exactly where I want them to go all the time. I guess I could change the formation a little bit. Get me in front. Let's do that. So, bug. Multiple things. What is her skill anyway? Her stealth is her stealth is only five. Why? Oh, because of her armor. And of course we dropped the other arm we dropped the regular leather armor. Oh well. Something to work on. You need to clear some stuff before you get more party members. Yeah. Well, see here, the way it started was um, you start off in Illusioneer at the in the Abyss, and there's a vendor there, or there's somebody you can talk to, and they have you can hire more adventurers from them, and the first one's free. And I didn't do that. I should have. Had I, I didn't realize I couldn't go back to Illusioneer once I started because I didn't do that much in the testing. So, kind of screwed up there. But some of the islands, it tells you where there's a, you can pick up an um, extra party member at the end of when you finish that particular island. And that's where we picked up Veronica from. From the first island, you get to pick up another party member. But all the other islands that I saw so far that, that we're going, there's no more party members that I can see. So I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> so basically what it means is that at the start we have to pick up as many party members as possible if we want to do the whole um, your group thing. Which is not a big deal. We can always start a new one. Attack! First come, first serve. Oh yeah, and turn-based isn't working right. We shall overcome. Because when I go to turn-based mode, I Do click. Not hold back. 
Doesn't work. Oh, the spell works though. That didn't work on before, but yeah. For some reason, left clicking doesn't work. I got this. So we have to do real time, which kind of sucks. Last nice game, did you just uh, make them all at the start? Uh, in Kingmaker, it's you can start with four, depending on what items you start with. Because uh, you can sell some of the, some items that you start with for uh, money, because it's uh, was it a thousand or five hundred? I think it, if you at the very start of uh, Beneath Stone Lands, I think it's five hundred gold per member that you add in. So, and they only start you off with what fifteen? <laughs> I think is it? Uh, yeah, I think they start you with fifteen hundred. So you can only take three extra people. So you start with four, and then which and then you clear out the first level, right? Of the, of the dungeon and you take all your stuff you sell it and that's usually enough to get you two more people so you get start give it with a party of six that way here I don't know how it works exactly yeah still have to learn that come on Veronica hit him just like that Barding. <laughs> Not sure what the barding is going to do for us without a, a horse or anything, but that's okay. Here we go. Again, just looking for. There are secret walls. I haven't run into one yet here, but in the test run that I did, I ran into a secret wall. So that's why I'm doing laps around the room. Direction we're going. Escaping from sight. At least the dungeons are I can handle it. purple. <laughs> Kill the poor little centipede. Defeat is not an option. Good. So, Veronica. She did not get sneak attack damage there. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to get sneak attack damage. Or is that later on? Oh, the, yeah, that's right. For her, it's a little bit later on, isn't it? Yeah, she doesn't get it right away. Class. Okay, yeah, she doesn't get sneak attack into level three. She's a shadow shaman. She doesn't have any of her cool come. stuff yet. She'll get there in time. Gimpy's down to seven hit points. I'm sure we'll be fine. What's this? So, blessing of good fortune. The demons wait. We're gonna fail this roll because I don't think either one of these does uh, arcane skill. Oh, maybe not. Bounty of All's Wisdom, so that benefits her for four minutes. Boss fight. Tully, Actually, it helps Gimpy, too. We had his armor class goes starting. up. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. See, this is. See how it's only showing him move there? I don't know why. See, there's two. It, there's something goofy about the texture, uh, the flooring that prevents them both moving at the same time. So, trap. Where's the trigger? I don't know.
Let's see what's up here. So this is different. Look, it's a trap. Multiple flies up there. Let's go this way first. Let's see what we can do. Attack! Hey, bag of water. Here comes trouble. Stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Uh-oh. Gimpy, gimpy. So again, I'm kind of stuck playing real-time mode because buggy. I'm not saying that because of the fine bugs. Getting the squirrel team up again. You guys are so lucky. That means you get to vote again, though. So, bingo vote. Starting now. Go to your bingo card. Click a number. Give me good loot. Nah, it's not good loot. Flame tongue. Cooking ingredient. We. So this is a different uh, layout that we've never really encountered before. Okay, I've got both those flies. So where's the trap trigger? Here we go again. So there's no tra no way of disarming that trap. There's no way to disarm this trap. I will not falter. Oh look, Rocket's awake. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think the game crashed. Son of a bitch, I think it crashed. I got the spilling, spinning wheel of doom. It's Rocket's fault. Yep, I think it's crashing. Damn it. Yep, it's crashing. Okay. It's the first time. That's a good sign, I guess. Okay, start up another one. Let's see how it goes. So that's not too bad. Almost two hours in. Did I say bad? What word did I say? <laughs> what word did I say? It was such a bad word, but word I didn't even recognize it. It's telling that we're really all expecting stuff like this from any new release in Pathfinder. So I have all my mods turned off and everything. I'm being a good gamer. How is it going to give it this to us? Uh, this is shit. I don't know where this is. Okay, so it's just the beginning of this particular island. So we get to go through all this again. I don't remember what was here in the first room. Is that a trap? That would be a trap. Oh, there's no. Is that it? It's a different room. Is yeah, this isn't the same room. All right. There was nothing here, was there? That's how we get out of the room. Good enough. Escaping from sight. 
So this is the fly room. The big room with all the fly. There we go. So there's nothing over there. There's the fly and a centipede. Here comes trouble. Trouble. She really needs to work on that to hit. Give me bugs. Oh, so now it works. Turn-based works now. <laughs> when we first started this this run, and we, the first combat we got onto, when we went into, when we got into turn-based combat, it didn't work. We did not notice that the first time through here. We should oh, we get something back here too. Oh, the chest. Let's go check out the chest first. That's right, that's that stuff. Beautiful. Yeah, we came through here. We didn't notice the, the thing on the wall. Defeat is not an option. Damn it. Damn you. <sighs> we shall overcome. Crush that son of a bitch. Another barding. And now we're going to have medium encumbrance because of the barding. Is it worth Let's carrying? How do. much is it worth? 40 pounds for 37 on that one. This one is 25 for 25. Gimpy's diseased. Ah, uh, demon plague. Thank Our you. Time has come. Material component missing. First aid kit. What? Ah, uh, when did they put that in? <laughs> when did they put that in? I feel like a chosen one. Uh, oh, that's just messed up. So, constitution and wisdom damage and fatigue. He hasn't, he hasn't affected him yet, at least. Three consecutive saves. Bonus is constitution based. Uh, DC 18, so he needs to roll 16s. He has to roll three 16s over the course of three things. That's messed up. And then they, why they just made it so treat affliction? That's stupid. Sorry, that's just ruining stuff, isn't it? This is the fly room. Escaping from sight. We do have experience at least. Kill the centipede first. Are you still here? We will prevail. Good miss, Kimpy. get two attacks? Let's get two attacks. That's only one. I got this. Because a half turn, maybe? No. Strike as one. Dead bug. Yeah, 
Okay, rocket's back. Damn you! Ha. Are you still here? Attack! Critical hit for four. We... Good guys always win. Okay, let's see if we can get this buff. I have managed. So, same buff, it's owl's wisdom. Here we go. Of course they're both wisdom sorta of based. Or both get benefits from being using wisdom. Let's see if I can sneak around. Ah, there's our save. Ah, oh, that's right, this trap that can't be disarmed. Kill this one first. We shall overcome. Stand with me. Keep you up three damage. I got this. And with the big fat mess. Needs a four, roll the two. Do not hold back. Good shot, Veronica. Damn you! Some dead bugs. Are you still here? Strike as one. She get decent rolls, crappy damage. She actually has a. She got no uh, penalty for. Good guys always win. That crit. Boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. That's what she says. I don't believe her. Ah, there's the disarm. See, that wasn't showing up last time. Did not see that at all last time. Let's see if I can sneak around. A defeat is not an option. Oops. They saw us. I got this. Damn you! Ha. Kill it, Veronica. Do not hold back. Gotta hit it, though. Are you still here? Uh, exploding bug parts. Good guys always win. Strike as one. So she missed. We're, we're flanking now, so that's good. I got this. Attack. Ugh. How? That's not Damn good. You. Okay, heal yourself. Might as well help Gimpy too. Ta -da. Got this one. Tarkus and Anendo, good job beating up on a spider with the Gauss rifle. Spider with the Gauss rifle is number 17 on your bingo card. Number 17. If we clean this room out, did we? Escaping from sight. So just the centipede, it looks like. Yep, no, there's the bug. We shall overcome. We will prevail. They both whiffed, didn't they? Yeah, 
exist. Can we get him, please? That's only half term. Strike as one. Dead luck. Sorry, centipede. Good guys always win. Green style wants an attack rules of fighting defensively. Oh, shit. For fighting defensively, you go using a style and fighting defensively, you gain additional plus one dodge from his armor class. Oh, so he's supposed to be doing this. Actually, it doesn't matter. Because he's not using this. He's just not picking up the extra AC. I got this. That's fine. Ow. That's unnecessary. Attack! Damn you! Okay, Veronica, we're gonna have you move away. And you're going to check a potion. There we go. Here's a modified to defense fighting. It's not active until you activate that, right? Which is okay. I mean, it's not like, not a big deal. Are you still here? Because he's not taking a penalty to his to hits right now. I mean, if he turn, if he does activate it, it's minus two, right? We shall overcome. Here we go again. You know, I think minus two attack rolls for fighting defensively. So this will up his AC to four, right? Currently twenty. Turns that on. Still twenty, because he actually has to take a punch at some point. See how that goes. I keep forgetting that's how monks do things. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, so it's over here. River of Blood. Oh, an abysmal giant, giant toad. A level two neutral animal, AC sixteen. Okay, let's go get him. I can't go get him first. Should I? Hmm. Let us not hesitate. We can rest after this fight. So, Toady, how you doing? Good guys always win. Ha. So, he sees only 21. Base value of 10, so it's 8, 11. Hmm. As for the second character earlier when you were making her, but ended up busy with. That's okay, but Ring, that's okay. So minus two penalty and attack roll. While using style and fighting defensively, you gain an additional plus one dodge bonus to your armor class. Shouldn't there be another plus one up there? I mean, it seems like it's a little low. Shouldn't it be plus four. Do not hold back. Oh, Veronica. Not only injured, but how many pay points does this thing have anyway? Started with 19. I got this. So there's the minus two at least. Okay, Veronica, you need to back off because I don't want you getting chewed on. Wow, that really hurt. And after you attack, it won't be active until you attack next round. Well, it's already, it's been on though. We went into combat with it started. He just got his ass kicked anyway. Now it's down to nine eighteen. Mm -hmm. 
one hit point. Damn you! Oh, that's right, he's got two swings, that's why he's able to do that. So now his armor class jumped up to 21. There we go. Okay, so it's it doesn't go from round to round. He has, actually has to attack. Hey, first. bag of water. It is time to take a break. After this fight. Go stretch your legs. Your next break is in two hours. Channel positive energy. How's this burst of damage to all on? All undead creatures and about to come with the amount of damage afflicted is equal to Oh no, that's to hurt the undead. We don't want to do that. <laughs> that would be bad. Strike as one! Ugh. God. Okay, you missed at least. Are you still here? Attack! Bad rolls. It can't be again, damn it. Good guys always win. Oh, come on. She burned her, uh, Inflict light wounds. Do we have any stuff for that? Oh, uh, Gimpy should be. No. The mage armor only lasts for 10 minutes. Too late now. We shall overcome. I got this. Ugh. That was ugly. Can't make the demons wait. Can't make the demons wait. Oh, look at the armor and stuff that we could maybe not be wearing. Now we're heavy encumbered. Now we get to save. And yes. Okay. So we're up to heavy. So that affects. That's affects armor class? What does it actually do when you're encumbered? Oh, it's a party encumbrance. Does that actually affect us? We really not a big deal for the actual individuals, because they're not actually carrying the stuff. That's fine. Anyway, I need to take a break, get up some water. I'd say check on the dogs, but they're right there on the screen already. So anyway, I gotta go stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. Be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.